look at that. What is it, dear? Uh, you'd think that nitwit editor could find something better to waste his ink on. He's still writing about the Boulan investigation. Good Lord, that's yesterday's news. Yes, dear. Yeah. More on the mayoral race. <laughs> well, I must say, Luke Spencer is certainly getting the lion's share of the press. You know, we've got to do something about that. I'm beginning to think that Brian Phillips doesn't have enough knowledge to know how to run a strong campaign. No, dear. <laughs> uh, another article on the uh, exposition. Seems to me that's all you hear about these days. You know, Lila, this town is going to be absolutely swarming with foreigners, and you and I aren't going to understand one word that anyone is saying. Edward, I have a splendid suggestion, dear. Why don't you take over the exposition? I'm sure you can find time between revamping the newspaper and uh, running Lee Waldron's campaign. There's no need to be snide, Lila. Merely commenting on the events of the day. <laughs> oh, Edward, I was only teasing, dear. Yes, well, do, do be go on. on. To be on the safe side, I'll stick with things that I know absolutely nothing about. This, uh, Prometheus disc, for example. Good morning. Oh, is anything wrong, dear? What the devil happened to you? Well, the babysitter never showed up. And so I fell asleep on Heather's couch, and I stayed there. And then Jason fell asleep, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, then Jason woke me up, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I know. And I would have slept all day long. And he would have slept, too. But you love to sleep just like your daddy, don't you? <laughs> We're very silly, aren't we? My dears, but I really don't see the problem. Why can't Jason stay up here with us while Lila, Heather is... don't ask. But he'd be no trouble. Yes, uh, well, thank you for offering, Mother, but I really can't do that. Why not? Because I promised Monica, that's why. Oh, no. No, 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 it's perfectly all right. It is? Well, yes. You can have Jason in this house for as long as you want to. You see, it's all settled. You mean that? Of course I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall go get Alan Jr. ready. For what? Well, to move to the gatehouse. If you think for one moment I'm going to have my son live in the same house with your illegitimate... All right, now that's enough. I knew this was too good to be true. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. No, and I don't intend to. I've listened to all the inane bickering that I can stand. Now, look, if you two can't solve your own problems, I guess I'll have to do it for you. You, dear? Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Can't wait to see this one. Me either. <clears throat> Look, can you get over here right away? Well, we're at the house, and uh, I may need your help. You heard me. Get a move on. Well, that should take care of it. Well, we're off to the hospital. Yes, but before we go, we'd like to hear your solution to our problem. You'll mm -hmm. find out soon enough. In fact, you're looking at it. What's the problem? Could you uh, stay at the gatehouse with Jason while Heather's out of town? What? I thought you got a sitter for. So did we. But she didn't show up. You'd be doing us a big favor. Um, uh, sure. There's only one problem. You bet there is. Look, I, I work days. Wait a second. Shirley could stay with him while I'm gone. I mean, she doesn't do anything till the evening. Well, that's perfect. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're talking about my son. Not yours. Not yours. I don't even know this Shirley woman from a hole in the wall. How do I know she's qualified to look after a child? I think it's a very good idea. You would. Alan, we've been through this before. Now, you tried to hire a nanny, and she never showed up. I'll try again. Look, Alan, you can do whatever you want. But I'll tell you one thing. They don't come any nicer than Shirley, and she loves kids. What's the alternative? Bring the boy here? Yes. You do, and I start packing. Oh, Monica, we can't... Damn! Monica, will you be reasonable? Why should I be different than anybody else? You know I can't leave Jason with Jimmy Lee and Shirley. Why? Would you leave your son with the two of them? I don't have to. Neither do I, and I'll find some other way to... Wait a minute. I am tired of arguing about this. I will go out and find someone suitable to take care of Jason. But in the meantime, Alan, I suggest if you want to continue having a wife, you keep him in the gatehouse. I uh, want you to know we really appreciate this, little boy. Well, I'm glad to do it. Yeah, you're helping us out with a rather delicate situation. Yeah, well, there was a... A little disagreement what to do with Jason, huh? Oh, 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 to put it mildly. Well, as I said, I'm happy to stay with him. We are buddies, aren't we? Huh? We buddies? Oh, we are. Hello, darling. Jason, 
Jimmy and me is going to be staying at your house for a few days. Will you like that? Well, just call us if we can do anything for you. I think I'll be all right. Shirley's bringing some of my stuff over from Kelly. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have any problems, don't hesitate to call us. I will. Well, thanks again. What's the family for? You ready to go? Mm -hmm. We're going to fly out of here? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Mm -hmm. I've often wondered. Oh, Edward, really? Mm -hmm. Just kidding, my dear. Just kidding. 